Hey, good morning, guys. So I thought I would do kind of a day in the life post-op um, recovery stages. I have leftover nachos over there to clean up at some point from last night. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, I want to show you guys my flowers real quick. I got some flowers. Um, well, I'll show you later, actually. But <laughs> I am hanging out. I have been pretty much pain-free since my surgery, which has been really awesome. And um, yeah, I just am starting to that point. It's been almost a week now. It's Monday. My surgery was Tuesday last week. So it's been almost a week and I'm getting to the point where I feel like I'm more able to do things. Um, I did, I have been taking it easy just as a precaution. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere. And I think that's been a really good idea um, because last night, I started to do some of the housework kind of things and then I ended up um, just having a little bit of like a TMI discharge kind of thing happen um, and it just it wasn't really concerning but it was like oh maybe I'm doing too much right now at once um, it's gonna do a little bit then take a break and then do a little bit and take a break so, right, so I also have these beautiful flowers um, my friends got me some sunflowers and that was so sweet. I actually really, really love sunflowers. And I, I feel like Luke didn't know that because <laughs> um, I, I never really say it. But I just think they're so beautiful. They're yellow and bright and cheery. And I just, I really love them. So anyway, um, they got me those. And then my sister had a birthday party for my one-year-old niece. And she just had these as centerpieces. And she said I could take one. So I did. I actually also took one for my mother-in-law and gave it to her um, just to enjoy the beautiful flowers. And yeah, I think they're so pretty. So um, I don't know what kinds these all are, but I just love looking at them. And these ones smell really good. So anyway, just my little cherry flowers over here keeping me happy. And I have a couple cards from people and, um, this basket. And I put the little welcome sign in there. And I have my diffuser, which I haven't been using, but, um, at this point was one more thing on this counter. <laughs> so last night, for some reason, I had a dream I was moving this table around, like, all over the place. It was so strange. I was, like, in a different house and I was just moving it everywhere. But anyway... <laughs> So I have been laying low. Um, I started organizing my nightstand though and decluttering it. So I still have some stuff to go through up here. I have some random pennies. Some are Canadian, some are US. So I have separate bins here. Um, one is for Canadian, one is for like cool US currency. I don't know what to do with my Canadian currency. Like what in the world do I do with Canadian coins? Throw them in a fountain? Like I don't know. Anyway, and then I have to like sort through this stuff and put this away elsewhere in the house. Um, my glasses case will go in here. I have... Um, my nail polish collection, I have a lot of random paperwork in here, and my iPhone case, um, some random like glasses cleaning things, my old glasses, more glasses cleaning stuff, a few random jewelry things that I'm never really going to use, but are sentimental or whatever, I don't know, just things that I keep. Um, this random jar of biotin, and then my button jar, whenever clothes have like extra buttons on them, I just put the extra buttons in my jar, um, and so I'm going to put my glasses case in here, I need it for my next surgery though, so, oh shoot, you know what? Okay, no, good. <laughs> my ID was in there. My, like, driver's license. I wanted to make sure I took that out, um, put that back in my wallet. But anyway, and then this is all from my discharge from my first surgery. So, um, I have to finish organizing up here and doing this part, but I will show you guys. I threw away a whole bunch of stuff already from down in there. Um, but yeah, I want to finish this off, and then I should probably dust it, <laughs> and I will be done for this little me company. Oh, she sees something outside now. Alright, so I have things almost organized. I'm also washing the bedding, so that's why, like, the bed isn't made. Um... But I have a bunch of Food Network magazines to give to my sis, give to my sister. Excuse me. Um, this binder is for Luke, and he likes binders for things. Um, so this is really part of this pile. These are things that need to be like put somewhere else, thrown away. Uh, well, not thrown away, but put somewhere else. Whatever, somewhere else in the house. This is my throwaway pile. I honestly might throw away my old phone. This is my last cell phone that I had, my Galaxy J three six. Um. I don't know what to do with it. Um, whatever. Anyway, this stuff goes elsewhere. Trash. Giving to my sister. Also, fluff from this Clifford dog thing that Sadie has. Trash. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, and then I have, like, old journals that I've journaled in. Books to read. Um, my... Just, like, note. Like, little post-its, basically. Um, that's a basal body thermometer. <laughs> and then I have to clean off the top still and dust it. But I'm basically okay. done. Sorry if this isn't the most interesting thing in the world, but... I have organized this now. Um, that white box is the Canadian change, I think. Yeah, so I need to figure out Google what to do with that stuff. Um, but anyway, I just have everything put away. It's not the cutest, but at least like that part isn't. But the top's pretty cute, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna make my bed soon. I have to still wash all of these 
blankets, but um, the sheets are done and the comforter is almost done, I think. So anyway, I'm going to make lunch soon and keep cleaning and doing little chores throughout the day. I also have, I was cleaning out Luke's closet and um, I want to see what he thinks of <clears throat> all of this stuff, these clothes, if he wants any of them or not. So I have been keeping the laundry going and I'm now sewing this button back on to Luke's shorts. Um, so these are the shorts that he used to wear a lot, I believe, and so I'm just, I took the old thread out and now I'm just, um, going over this over and over and over again so that it will be a nice, tight, um, strong stitch, I guess. And I did fold some of the laundry, um, on the table is the rest of Luke's laundry fold and the basket is the rest of my laundry fold, or like all of my laundry fold. Um, so yeah, anyway, making progress. I also gave the flowers some new water and they're over by the window to get some sunlight. All right, so I just finished that up and it's looking pretty secure. Um, I actually just sewed a couple pairs of socks, well not a couple of pairs, but a couple of socks, um, one of Luke's and one of mine the other day, just mended some holes. Do you guys ever sew? That's like my question of the vlog is, does anyone actually sew anymore? I don't really sew much like um, crafty, like making my own clothes or anything, but um, I do mend things. Do you guys mend things like this any anytime or would you just go get new shorts? I kind of got new shorts for him one time. Um, like I did get new shorts because these ones weren't working anymore with the button. Um, but then I ended up, he doesn't like those shorts because they're too short. <laughs> and so anyway, I finally mended these ones. And do you guys ever do that kind of stuff? Or no, not really. Just ask. interesting vlog of all but um, I'm going to see if I can edit something good out of it um, or decent but I just wanted to share this time um, I'm cuddling with Sadie right now Sadie can you look at the camera look over here there we go so she's laying with me um, and I'm going to do a little journaling some prayer and I have the oven going so I'm heating up some leftover lasagna and I'm going to have garlic bread and peas with that, and then um, I did have leftover lasagna for lunch. I might just eat it for dinner, too, honestly. Um, I like to kind of vary what I eat in the day, um, so this is not really that, but um, for one day it won't hurt me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. I will see you guys later. Um, today, Josiah and Lauren Duggar announced they were pregnant, and that's really cool. I love watching Counting On, and I love the Duggar family, um, and just seeing what the kids are up to, and... So anyway, uh, that's really exciting. Um, Lauren went through a miscarriage, her first pregnancy and her first loss um, a few months before, or like a month or two actually. I don't think it was much much before I went through my first pregnancy and then first loss. So um, it's just kind of cool to see that she's pregnant now and um, it gives me hope and encur it encourages me. So anyway, um, I am going to go now and thanks for watching this video today and Sadie and I will see you later. Bye.